Good evening. A WA diver has opened up on his ocean ordeal, telling Nine News how he was stalked by sharks during three hours lost at sea. In an exclusive interview, John Craig revealed how he survived against the odds to swim seven kilometres to safety. The boat was gone. There were these two big sharks circling me and I thought, this is it, this is how I'm going to die. John Craig was spearfishing off the coast of Denham when the skipper of his boat had mechanical issues and drifted away. By the time I came up, the boat had drifted away and was no longer in sight. And so I was left there on my own, the boat's nowhere to be seen, and that's when I really started to, to worry. Panicked and splashing in the hope someone could see him, John unintentionally attracted two sharks. One, a four-metre tiger, which stalked him for around 15 minutes. And I could see its huge head kind of coming out of the gloom and it would be right next to my fins. It would disappear again and then it would come from below me, it would come from the side and all the time I was just using my spear gun to try and keep it away from me. Got my head down and just kept saying to myself, you've just got to get to land before it gets dark. Just get to land before it gets dark and you'll be okay. John swam seven and a half kilometres to reach land once back on shore. He tried to flag down search crews, even using his mask to try and reflect light towards rescue boats. But when that was unsuccessful, he started walking north along the coast in the hope of finding a campsite where he could get help. And then I heard the plane coming along straight in front of me along the coast. And one of our friends had actually texted the pilot to say, try searching along the shore because John's a good swimmer and he might have made it in. And then I hopped on the fisheries boat Skull two bottles of water straight out because I was so dehydrated. Then an emotional reunion with his wife, Emma. Relief. I just told Emma how sorry I was for putting her through it and how, like, how much I loved her and how happy I was to be alive. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.